Privacy Players, let's talk about how to safely open up your case. All right, first of all, whenever you are planning to open up your case and get out your instrument, please make sure your case is on the floor. All right, I know sometimes it might seem a little easier to place it on your bed or on a chair, um, but if it were to fall off the bed or the chair, um, then your instrument is falling from a higher distance. So we always want to keep our cases flat on the floor, okay? That way our instruments can stay safe, all right? So before we talk about how to open up the latches, I need to make sure you understand how to open up the case right side up, okay? There is a top to the case and there is a bottom. So the bassoon, all the pieces rest in the bottom of the case, so that's why it's really important we know the difference so we don't open it up upside down and everything comes spilling out, all right? So there's a couple ways that you can tell that your case is right side up. First of all, you can look at the writing on your case. Each of your cases, some of them might be faded, should have an MMS and then a number. That's the serial number of your instrument. It helps us ID uh, which instrument uh, you have, all right? So, the, so that should be facing up. If it's upside down, then you need to flip your case over, okay? Way number two is um, you can probably notice slightly that the bottom of the case is deeper than the lid of the case. And again, this is because the bassoon parts are sitting in the bottom. Okay, so you again can see, maybe maybe not in the video, but on your bassoon, that the bottom of the case is deeper than the lid. Okay, and there's a third way. You see you actually have three latches on your bassoon. Another way I like to see if it's right side up is, I think these little gold latches almost look like little elephant heads and little elephant trunks. And you want the elephant trunks to be pointing down towards the ground like an elephant head, right? They don't really ever go upside down, I don't think. Okay, so three ways that you can tell if your instrument is right side up, all right? If you're sure that your instrument is right side up, then here's how the latches work, okay? You have these two gold little elephant heads and trunks, okay? To open these, I know you see little keyholes, but they're not locked. These little circle tabs you're gonna press them out. And it's kind of fun, they're spring-loaded, so they should pop up, <laughs> right? So again, you press them out towards the outside of the case. In order to close them, you just press them back firmly into place. If they pop back up, press it back in again, because we don't want things spilling out again, okay? The middle one is different, okay? For, to open this one, you're gonna need to lift that little tab at the bottom, and then see this little hoop? If you leave that, your lid will not open. So you need to make sure that you also pop that little hoop up or off. Okay, so again, it's closed. We lift the tab and then we take off the little hoop. All right, we press out on these. And if you've done it correctly, then your lid will lift and everything else will stay in place and you can hear the little angels sing as you get to see your bassoon. Oh. All right, and it should be flat inside the case. All right, we'll talk about how everything else works later, but just so you know, when you close the case, the, the lid should go flat. If it doesn't, that means something is in the case incorrectly. One of the pieces may be backwards or upside down. So don't force it. If your lid doesn't close all the way, okay, open it back up and make sure everything is in its correct place before you latch it so we don't cause any damage. All right, so again, to close it, and we just press these close. Then remember, you have to do the hoop first before you press down. All right, okay guys, good luck, bye.